Homeless encampments in the city of Los Angeles could soon be banned from public sidewalks and parks if the city council approves a new ordinance drafted today. NBC4's Angie Crouch explains how it would work. Homeless encampments have taken over many Los Angeles sidewalks and parks, and city officials have a new plan to try and stop it. Today, the L.A. City Attorney drafted a new ordinance that would ban homeless encampments from blocking the public right-of-way on sidewalks and doorways and within 500 feet of sensitive locations like schools, parks, shelters, and libraries. We should be leading with services and housing for people experiencing homelessness, but by the same token, our public spaces need to be safe and accessible for everyone, and there need to be clear rules. This is one step in the right direction. Rick Swinger has been documenting the homeless problem in Venice Beach for several years. Oh, he's going after him. He's got a pipe now. Posting cell phone video on social media of encampments and fights on the streets. He supports the city's proposed ban on sidewalk camping, saying he's tired of cleaning up human waste outside his door. This is worse than third world country conditions because no other third world country allows unlimited sidewalk camping. But civil rights attorney Carol Sobel opposes the plan. She told me today the ordinance doesn't solve the problem. Instead, it criminalizes homelessness because if people living on the street don't voluntarily comply, they're subject to misdemeanor fines or even arrest. $229 a night to put somebody in jail. You could get them a motel room for the week. So where, where what are they thinking? The city attorney says street teams will first do outreach and law enforcement will be a last resort. We have models for how this can work in a way that is both clear and effective on the one hand and humane on the other. I think that's a balance that we need in Los Angeles. Now, under the new ordinance, the city would have to offer services to the homeless before evicting them and post 14 days notice to give people time to move their belongings before they're moved off the sidewalk. The city council is set to vote tomorrow. Reporting live, Angie Crouch, NBC4 News.